Hello everyone, welcome back to Castaway TV. I'm out here today, just off the St. Lawrence, and we're gonna do some ice fishing, but we're gonna do a little review on the Garmin Striker 4 Plus. Uh, I got it a while back, but I've used it enough times now to uh, really tell you what I think about it and show you some of the settings and what settings I prefer to use on it. Anyways, first I've gotta drill a hole. Before we do the on ice walkthrough, let's talk about what we're working with. I got the Garmin 4 Plus Ice Bundle. In that bundle comes the fish finder unit, the ice transducer, a mount to put it on, a battery, and this fancy little bag. Now, the Garmin Striker 4 also has a bundle like this but it comes with a regular boat transducer. You can use this in the ice, but the big difference between the 4 and the 4 Plus is the quick draw maps. Now I find it kind of funny that the one that you can mount on a boat doesn't have the maps, but it is what it is. So the quick draw maps, it has a memory of all the places that you go fishing and use the transducer. So in the future, you know what you're going to fish and you can also use it in the winter time again when you go ice fishing. Um, that was the big draw for me to choose the four plus over the four was because if I want to use this in the kayak or the boat, it will create maps for me and it's just a lot handier to use going into the future. Now there is a third option with the Garmin Striker four plus CV, which stands for the Garmin clear view, which I believe is a type of live imaging, but I don't believe they come with any portable kits. And I was really only looking in between the Striker 4 and the 4 Plus for my price point. I just wanted to get out there, get started. I wanted something that came all together, ready to go. And when it came down to it, the quick draw maps was what made me make my final decision. I may end up getting another transducer to mount for the kayak. I'm not sure. I may even invest in a total different unit in the future. But for now, this is working great. So let's get out on the ice and do a run through of the settings and what my preferences are for this device. All right, so we're finally set up. I got two lines in the water, one behind me here, another one. Um, I got a minnow on the side one and I've got a spoon on this one. So one of the first settings I adjust with the Garmin is the gain. So if you turn the gain up, you're gonna get more of a response and your lure is gonna look massive. So you wanna adjust that accordingly and get it so your lure is more fitting to what it actually is in the water. That way you can see the size of your lure and the size of fish that are going to target it. Uh, so now, from here, if a mark comes up and it's similar to the size of the lure, it's probably a perch. If it's a big, solid mark, it's gonna be something like a pike, walleye, maybe a bass, muskie, who knows? The size of the mark will determine roughly what the size of the fish is. Obviously, it's not 100% accurate, but it gives you an idea. Another thing you wanna choose is your color scheme. I had it on a blue one with like red markings, but it's not showing up good today. So I went into sonar setup, went to appearance, color scheme, and I chose yellow. So now you kind of see what's going on. We have a depth of 11.6 feet. It's 1.12 PM. And right now I'm balancing my lure around 10 feet. So another big thing is choosing your setting you wanna be on. So here you have a list of settings. So traditional, flasher, split frequency, quick draw map, map plus traditional, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of people like the flasher. Personally, I like the traditional because right now I get a live read of my bait. Now something I did was go into sonar setup appearance and I turned on the A-scope 
And what that does is give me this here. This little region here is a live representation of my bait. Now the, what shows after that is a history. And I like that because it shows me what the fish is actually responding to. So if it starts to go back down and they'll, okay, they didn't like that. Let's go back to what it was reacting to. And hopefully with that information, you can catch a fish. Another cool setting, so you can set up your own custom format. So if you go into customize home, you can add and you can make your own style. Add a combo, add data grass, add numbers. So you can choose what you want to do. I made this combo four, which is with the flasher and the traditional with the A-scope already on. So this way you can get the best of both worlds. You can get their C the, this way and the traditional. I haven't used the flasher too much, honestly. I think it'd be cool doing um, fish that were in deeper water, like uh, lake trout and stuff, because they really like to chase the bait up. But for what I've been doing, which has been either walleye, perch, or pike, I really just like the way the traditional functions. It's time to focus on the fishing portion of this video. Because what's a fishing video without fish? It's just a video. And of course, I didn't get any fish. I've been on a dry spell. Mark and fish, couldn't get them to commit. But I do have a clip from my last video which shows a fish actually engaging with my lure. Oh, we got fish on us. Yeah. Okay, I missed him. Missed him, missed him, missed him. Go back down, go back down, go back down. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Smoked him. Boy. <laughs> Walleye. All right. So. To give you my overall review and my final thoughts, if you want to change your ice fishing experience and you do not have a fish finder at this moment, this is a great option to get you started. Um, last year, I just went out, put a minnow in the water, hoped for the best, and some days were really bad, some days I caught some fish, but I had no idea what was going on under the ice. I didn't even know if there was fish actually there. And with this, I know there's fish there, I can engage with them. And this year, I've probably had 60% of my hookups on lures instead of live bait. Um, before that, I had never caught one on a lure through the ice. So it definitely creates a big difference. There's 100% more hookups, you can actually see your fish, you know what you're doing, and it just adds to the overall experience on the ice. Um, anyways guys, Hopefully this helps you if you are looking into these fish finders and are having trouble deciding between either model or whether you really want to invest your money into it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, one day at a time and stay tuned for the next video.